or watch films. Okay, thank you very much. Um, Hardy, do you like to go shopping? And what is your favorite part about going shopping? Yes, I like to go to shopping. Uh, my favorite uh, part about going shopping is Party, could you repeat what your favorite part about going shopping is? Uh, I like uh, uh, toy. Oh, do you like shopping for toys? Yes. That is very interesting. Thank you. I think my, yes, my brother mm -hmm. also likes to go toy shopping. Um, Jason, do you like to go shopping? And if so, what is your favorite part about going shopping? I like to go shopping. Uh, my favorite part about going shopping is cinema. So your favorite part is going to the cinema? I think that's very cool. Oh, thank you. Um, I also like. Hmm? I was just ask want to ask if everybody could please turn on their cameras, because we still have a couple people who have their camera off. Uh, what Kaylin said. <laughs> um. Lee Jing, what um do you like to go shopping? And what is your favorite part about going shopping? Uh yes I do. My favorite part about going to shopping is the bookstore. <clears throat> uh I think I also like to go to the bookstore too. Um thank you. Um Marin, do you like to go shopping? I like to go shopping. My favorite part of going shopping is to the toy shop. To the toy shop. That sounds very fun. Thank you. Um, Rachel, do you like to go shopping? And what is your favorite part about going shopping? Um, I like to go to shopping. I, um, my favorite part about going shopping is books. Thank you, Marin. Rachel, I'm so sorry. Uh, it seems like a lot of people like going to the bookstore. Um, I also like reading very much. Um... Uh, Shen Tianyu, do you like to go shopping? And what is your favorite part about going shopping? Yes, I do like to go shopping. My favorite part about going to shopping is apples. Shopping. Apples? The fruit? Fruits shopping. Oh, yes. 
I think apples are very tasty too. Thank you. Uh, Sophia, do you like to go shopping? And what is your favorite part about going shopping? Yes, I do. I like cake, cake shopping. I'm sorry, could you repeat that? Mm. Green cake. Uh, shopping for cakes? Yes. Yes. I like cream cake. That sounds very yummy, Sophia. Thank you. Uh, cream cakes are also my favorite kind of cake as well. Um, Theodore, do you like to go shopping? And what is your favorite part about going shopping? Um, I like to go shopping. Um, my favorite... I usually buy stick cards and some snacks in the supermarket. That sounds like... Hmm? Um, and... That sounds like so much fun, Theodore. I also like to collect st stickers. Thank you so much. Uh, Andre, do you like to go shopping? And what is your favorite part about going shopping? I like to go shopping. My favorite part of going shopping is toys. There seems to be a lot of people who like to go shopping for toys today. Thank you, Andre. Uh, okay. So this week's conversation is what's your favorite animal? So um, Anna, can you tell me what your favorite animal is? My favorite animal is rabbit. Rabbits are so cute. Um, can you tell me why do you like rabbits the most? Because rabbit is cute. <laughs> they are very cute. Thank you, Anna. Um, Coco, can you tell me what your favorite animal is? My favorite animal is panda. Because panda is cute and interesting. That's very good. I love pandas. They're so cute. It's nice. Um, Hari, can you tell me what your favorite animal is? My favorite animal is elephant because that is big. Oh, that's very nice. Elephants are very cute. Um, Jason, can you tell me what your favorite animal is? <coughs> My favorite animal is tiger because the tiger is very aggressive. Can you repeat the last part again? The, um, can you repeat why you like tigers? Uh, because <clears throat> tiger is uh, very big and very aggressive. That's very good. Tigers, <laughs> they're not cute and fluffy, but they're very brave. Um, Li Jingyi, can you tell me what's your favorite animal? My favorite animal is pandas because panda is, uh, is cute. Pandas are very cute. I agree. Um, Marin, can you tell me what your favorite animal is? My favorite animal is... Little kitten. Little kitten. Do you have um a cat? Mm, I did. 
cats are very cute. Um, Rachel, can you tell me what your favorite animal is? Um, my favorite animal is rabbit because, um, it has a, a red a eyes and it white. It is white. I like the white. That's very cool. They kind of like vampires with red eyes. <laughs> um, Shen Qian Yu, can you tell me what your favorite animal is? My favorite animal is a monkey, because the monkey is interesting. Monkeys are very interesting. There's so many different answers for this. It's very fun. Um, Sophia, can you tell me what your favorite animal is? My favorite animal is bunny, because it's very cute. Bunny is super cute. Do you have a bunny? Yes. <laughs> Can you tell me what your bunny's name is? It's Bunny. <laughs> That's a very nice name. Thank you, Sophia. Um, Theodore, can you tell me what your favorite animal is? favorite animal is cat. Can you tell me why you like cats? Mm, because it's cute. Do you have a cat? Mm, yes, I have a cat, but it's in my grandma house. <clears throat> grandma house, yes. That's very cool. Thank you, Theodore. Um, Andre. Can you tell me what your favorite animal is? My favorite animal is um tiger. Tiger. Can you tell me why do you like tigers? Um it's so cool and interesting. Tigers are very cool and very interesting. Thank you, Andre. And Hu Yi, can you tell me what your favorite animal is? I just. I don't like animal. Oh, can you tell me what your favorite plant is then? Mm. Mm. Like an example of a plant you might like is like flowers. No. Do you like trees? No. <laughs> Okay then. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. So today's lesson is about animal habitats. So introduction. Animals live in areas of land called habitats. Each habitat is different from each other. Some are wet and some are dry. All the animals in a habitat have an important role called a niche. Some habitats include grassland, urban wildlife, rainforest, and many more. Most animals can't live in other habitats, but sometimes an animal can live in other habitats called invasive species. So, um, Coco, what are some habitats? Animal live in areas of land called habit. 
the land? Oh, okay. Forest. Forest, yes. Yeah. Good job, Sophia. Uh, uh, Anna, could you tell us in another habitat? Um, this is the translated word for habitat in Chinese. <clears throat> uh, do you need some help? These are some examples of habitats. If you could describe them for me. Do you know what uh this picture or this habitat is called? Anna? Okay, so this habitat is called a desert. Um, as you can see, there's a lot of sand and it looks like a very dry place. Uh, okay. So the first habitat that we are going to be talking about is the tundra. And it's mainly found in Arctic regions and it covers around 20% of the earth. For the majority of the year, it is a very cold, frozen environment. The average temperature is below freezing, which is very, very cold. And it is also a very dry place and it gets around as much rainfall as an average desert, which is the environment that Gina was talking about in the last slide and the tundra also does not have very many plants so jason do you know any animals that live in the tundra uh 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 uh, like, um, do you know any animals that like cold environments or that like to live in cold weather? Um, do you know any, Jason? Um, if you don't know any, it's fine, because on the next slide, we will be going over some examples. So, um, Hardy. Yes? Uh, I know... Uh, snow leopards. Snowy leopard. Very good. Thank you, Jason. That's an example of an, that is a very good example of an animal that likes to live in the tundra. And so, um, Hardy, can you tell me the average temperature in the tundra? Um, Hardy, can you hear me? There are no animals live in the tundra. Um, that's 
Um, okay. In the tundra, there are animals, but they are there aren't very many plants. Uh, what I asked. Red fox. Hmm? Can you repeat that, please? Red fox. That's a very good example. Uh, thank you, Rachel. But um, Hardy. So the average temp. I was asking you if you could tell me the average temperature of the tundra region. And I think Gina is underlining it. So could you just read that area? <laughs> um, Hardy, could you please read? what Gina is underlining. Okay, I guess we could just move on to the next slide then. Okay, so here are some animals that live in the tundra. So, um, so does anybody know the English or Chinese names of any of the animals in the picture? If you do, can you please just um speak up? Um, I think Jason circled those two animals. So, Jason, can you tell us the names of those animals? Uh, how new the mushroom? Uh, this is cow, and this is snow leopards. Very good. So you said the snow leopard, right? And the one that you called a cow, I believe it is a bison. Uh, I, I don't know what. So, um, Jason, you circled two animals, and the animal that you said was a snow leopard, that's correct, and that's a very good job. But um, for the other one, you said it was a cow. But the correct English translation would be bison. So can you just repeat bison? Bison. Very good. Thank you. And it also seems like Rachel circled an animal. So Rachel, can you please tell us the name of the animal you circled? Um, it's polar bear. Very good. Thank you, Rachel. And does anybody else know any of the other animals on the page? Oh, Anna circled one. So, Anna, can you tell me the name of the animal you circled? This is a fox. Very good. Um, this fox is also specifically called a red fox. So thank you, Anna. And Marin also circled an animal. So Marin, can you say the name of the animal? Mm, this animal name is Snowy Owl. Very good, Marin. Thank you. Does anybody else want to um, say any other names? Oh, Andre circled one. So, Andre, can you tell us the name of the animal you circled? It's eagle. Very good. That specific kind of eagle is called a bald eagle. And so that's enough. I guess we can move on to the next slide. And so the other animals, there is the wet Weddell seal the polar bear it was a yak not a bison okay sorry jason it is not a bison it is a yak 
there's the snow leopard, stoat, I'll just go over the ones that aren't circled. There's also the beluga whale, the tundra swan, the walrus. Oh, Jason, do you want to um, say the name of the animal that you just circled? Yes. So, um, Jason, the name of the animal you circled is called a bighorn sheep. So, can you please repeat that? A uh, bighorn sheep. Very good. Thank you. And it looks like it looks like um, Rachel circled the yellow-eyed penguin. Oh, I said the name, sorry. But, um, Rachel, can you say the name of the animal you circled? Yellow-eyed penguin. Very good, thank you. And so, does anybody else want to say any other names? If you do, can you just circle it again? Because some are circled, but I didn't see who did it. Okay, if not, then we can just oh, move on then. Uh, okay. So, snow leopard is a um, animal that lives in the tundra. Snow leopards are carnivores, which means that they eat a primarily meat diet. They like eating blue sheep, Argali wild sheep, marmots, pikas, Asiatic ibex, argali, and deer are some of their most common meals. They have no natural predators. An adaptation snow leopards have to survive better in their environment is their fur, since their fur color helps them to blend in with their surroundings better. Their closest relatives are tigers. They are an endangered species. So this is the food chain for the snow leopard. So the producer, then the grasshopper, then the blue sheep, and then the snow leopard, which is on the top of the food chain. So uh, Theodore. Do you like snow leopards or normal leopards better? Mm, snow leopards better. Uh, could you tell me why you like snow leopards better, Theodore? Um. So, um, I guess I read it. Theodore. Um, you... um, yes. So, um, I think so. this ass is beautiful. Celebrate yeah, are I... very beautiful. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, should call on one more person. Uh, Lee Zingy. Do you like snow leopards or normal leopards better? Uh, I think the snow leopards is better. Yes, personally, I do like snow leopards over normal leopards because uh, as Theodore said, I think they are very, very beautiful. Thank you. So, 
Um, the next animal that we are going to be talking about from the tundra region is the red fox. And so the red fox is the largest of the different fox species. And red foxes are omnivores, which means that they like eating both meat and plants. They like to eat mice, voles, rabbits, eggs, fruits, and birds. And their front paws have five toes, while their back paws only have four. They also have very good hearing, and they will normally only have one mate or partner for their whole life. And they are also known to be incredibly smart and cunning. So, Sophia, do you think you would want a red fox as a pet? Sophia, can you hear me? Um, Andre, would you want a red fox as a pet? If I have, I sure does. Can you tell me why you would want a red fox as a pet? Um, because um, it's like so cool and. I agree. And it's very, very interesting. Yes. Foxes are very cool and very interesting. Um, Marin, would you want a red fox as a pet? I want to, um, I want to have a pet. Cool. Can you tell me why you would want a red fox as a pet? I don't have why. <laughs> That's fine. Red foxes are very cool in general. So the next animal is the snowy owl. Um, this animal is also known as the polar owl, the white owl, and the arctic owl. They are carnivores which means that they most eat mostly meat. Their favorite things to eat are lemmings, arctic hares, mice, ducks, and seabirds. They have really good eyesight, and their wings are normally four to five feet long. Unlike most owls, they like to hunt during the day. They are an endangered species. So, Sophia, do you like snowy owls or normal owls better? Owls better? Mm. I like snow over. Could you tell me why you like snowy owls better? Um, I like snow hours better. Yes, thank you, Sophia. Um, personally, I like snowy owls better because they're Harry Potter's pet. <laughs> um, Coco. Do you like snowy owls or normal owls, owls better? No, I don't. Uh, do you not like owls? So, Coco? I... I... I like... I like snowy owls because it is beautiful. 
Yes, snowy owls are very beautiful. Thank you, Coco. So the next habitat that we are going to be talking about is the desert. And the desert is an environment that gets less than 10 inches of rain a year. Deserts have a, deserts have a high temperature and a low humidity. Deserts have a lot of sand and a lot of rocks and not very many plants. And they also cover around 30% of the Earth's surface. The hottest deserts in the world are the Sahara Desert in Africa and the Moave Desert in America. And the Gobi Desert, which is located in China, is one of the biggest deserts. So, Jason, do you like hot weather? Uh, yes, because I can eat more ice cream. <laughs> That's a very good reason, Jason. I 100% support you in that life. Thank you. Um, Li Jingyi. Oh, Rachel, do you have something to say? Um, Li Jin, do you like hot weather or would you prefer cold weather? Uh, no, I don't like the hot weather. Can you tell me um, why you don't like hot weather? It feel uh, hot weather feel uh, not. Not very comfortable. Hot weather feel funny. I agree. I prefer cold weather personally. So these are some desert animals. Um, Shen Tianyu, can you name any of these animals here on this slide? Shen Tianyu, can you hear me? Um, if anybody knows any of the animals on this slide, can you just, like we did for the tundra, can you just circle them and then we will call on you? Or Shen Tianyu, do you know any animals? Can you repeat that, Mary? Cannot. Okay, good. One of the animals in the picture is a camel. Camels are very funny looking creatures. Um, does anybody else know an animal on this slide? Next, we can go um, look at what oh, oh, Rachel circled an animal. So, Rachel, can you tell us what the name of the animal is? Gopia. Very good, Rachel. Thank you. I think we can show them the names now. So, here is a spider. Um, a scorpion, as Rachel told us, camel, coyote, and snake. So this, um, I didn't quite see who wrote this, but, but Li Jin. Um, oh, Li Jin. Uh, this animal is a coyote and not a wolf. So the next type of animals we will be talking about are desert animals. And so the animal that we're talking about in desert animals are scorpions. 
and scorpions have a venomous tail. They like to hide underground when it gets too hot outside, since the desert is a very hot place. They also can glow in the dark, and they, to find a mating partner, they dance. <laughs> they have a little dance off. And they are also a part of the arachnids family. So, um, Rachel, do you like scorpions? I don't like um scorpions because um uh, it has a dangerous tail. That's a very good answer. Scorpions are pretty scary. Thank you, Rachel. So another desert animal is the camel. So camels can go fifteen days without water. Camels have humps that store fat, so they don't need to eat or drink for many days. The desert is a habitat without water for many miles, so it is very useful that the camels have their humps. Because camels don't need water, they are used instead of horses in the desert. Uh, so, Anna, would you like to ride a camel? Yes. Could you tell me why? It could be, I guess, very fun or interesting. Is that why? Um, Gina, I think we don't oh, kind of have to move on to the next slide. So we have that much time left. Okay, Anna. It's fine, Anna. Um, so the next habitat we are going to be talking about is aquatic ecosystems. And aquatic ecosystems are just animals that live in water or their home is in water. And aquatic means water. <laughs> and they make up 70% of the earth. Oh, thank you, Rachel. Yeah, I agree. Camels would probably stink a little bit. Um, so, Shenxiangyu, what are some aquatic ecosystems? And there are some examples underneath if that helps. Um, Shenxiangyu, can you hear me? No, he can't. Oh, okay, thank you, Andre. Um, do you want to answer the question then? I think I don't know this answer. That's fine. Um, can you just repeat after me, or can you read after me? Um, so some aquatic ecosystems are oceans, lakes, rivers, ponds and wetlands. So can you just um, say one of those, Andre? Mm, lake. Very good, thank you. So here are some animals that live in the aquatic ecosystem. Uh, Coco, can you tell me uh, the name of any of these animals? This is, this is say line. 
Oh, a and sea lion, I think. Lion. Did you say a sea lion? Yes. Is that I, one? Think, I think that's a walrus. But they do look very similar. Um, Rachel, can yeah. you tell us the animal that you circled? It's dolphin. Very good. Thank you, Rachel. And Andre, can you tell us the animal that you circled? It's white, white shark. That's very close. Um, it's called a great white shark, I believe. But that's very close. Thank you, Andre. Oh, and Sophia, can you tell us the animal that you circled? It's real. Can you repeat that? It's real. Uh, very good. It is a type of whale. I believe it's called an orca. And um, mm. Rachel, do you want to say the other animal that you circled? It's turtle. Very good. Good job. I believe that's called a sea turtle. I don't know if it's a specific type of sea turtle or not. Oh, and Marin. Oh, do you want to go to next? No, I still have a lot. Sorry. Um, uh, Marin, could you tell us the name of this animal? Okay. This animal's name is Bira. Yes, this uh, animal is a beater. Thank you, Marin. Huh. So, yeah, so the animals that we did not name. Uh, this is a beaver. And the one Anna circled right here, this is a clownfish. Um, this is a heron. And here is a walrus. So now, can you click one more time? So, okay. So now we are going to be talking about the dolphin, which is something Marin brought out. <laughs> and so dolphins are very smart animals. And they like to eat fish and squid. They can swim 13 to 16 kilometers an hour. They have two stomachs. They can eat a lot of food. <laughs> and there are around 40 different species. And they can all dive up to 1,000 feet. So, um, Hardy, how fast can you swim? <laughs> like, can you swim fast or slow? Or can you even swim at all? Um, Hardy, did you hear me? Yes, I can. So, um, are do you enjoy swimming? Fish. Um, can you repeat that? Do you, did you say that you like to go fishing? Thank you, Hardy. So the next aquatic animal is the beaver. So beavers have thick fur. They build their own homes called dams using sticks. They eat plants. Um, they live during the night, so they're asleep during the day. Uh, one of the few animals that uh, modify their habitat, which is by building dams. So. Uh, Sophia, do you like to eat plants? Uh, 
Plant. Plant 还是什么？植物。呃、uh, ，I like eat plants. What kind of plants do you like to eat? Tomato. I'm sorry. Could you repeat that? Tomato. Ah,、uh, tomatoes. Thank you, Sophia. Tomato. Ah,、uh, I think my favorite type of plants to eat are fruits because they're sweet. Thank you, Sophia. So now we will be playing a game called Guess Who. And so the way the game works is that、um, someone will pick an animal based on what is like on the slide, and then through yes or no questions, we will try to guess the animal. So I think me and Gina should we do a practice round or should we just like do it? Um,、uh, I think we could do a practice round to like show them how to play. Okay, so um, do you want to just pick an animal then? Uh, sure. Okay. Do you have it? Yeah. Okay. Is your animal big? No. So then, is it badger big? So, would you say a badger is big? Um. I guess they're kind of medium size. <laughs> okay, just tell me if I cross one off that's wrong. Okay, so does anybody else want to ask a question? Um, Marin, can you ask a question? So, um, why don't you ask about the color of the animal? Um, your animal is gray. This animal、um, is black. So Gina,、um, is your animal black or gray? No, it is not black or gray. Okay. So um, Jason, can you ask a question? Uh. So um, Jason, can you ask a question about any of the animals left? Like, for example, you could ask like about the color of the animal or the size of the animal. Uh. Uh. Uh, I don't know. That's fine. So, um, does anybody else want to ask a question? Uh, I have a question. Is it mammal? Oh, that's yeah, a very good question. Yes, it is a mammal. Yes, it is are a mammal. Are hedgehogs mammals? I don't know. I th I think so. Pigs are mammals, right? Yeah. Okay. Does anybody?、Um, yeah. Does anybody else want to ask a question? So right now we only have three animals left. 
I think, no, four animals left, which is the dog, the hedgehog, the pig, and the cat. So does anyone else want to ask any questions? It's, it's your and Ma has big ears. Um, no, the animal does not have big ears. So does anybody else want to ask the final question? Oh, Rachel, do you want to ask the question? No, oh, no. Um, does anybody want to ask? Um, Theodore, can you ask the last question? Yes. Um, question, can you tell again? Um, so, can you all, oh, I forgot to this. So can you ask a question to decide whether Gina's animal is a hedgehog, which looks like this, or a cat? Um, cat. So, um, can you ask Gina a yes or no question about which animal it is? For example, you could ask her if it is a certain color or if it is a certain size. Like the first question is whether or not the animal was big. So can you if ask your question? animal is big? Mm. Um, so no. Rachel, Rachel, that's a very good question. But um, since that was the first question, all the animals left are small. So can you, do you, Rachel, do you know any like questions that would help you decide whether the animal is a hedgehog or a cat? If your uh, animal has some. Has what? I think ask, she asked if it has thumbs. Thumbs? Oh. I don't I don't think so. Your favorite animal have a long tail. Yes, the animal has a long tail. So then Theodore. It's cat. Thank you, good. Thank you, Coco. Yes. So okay, we have to go to the homework. Homework. So Next week's homework is, what is your favorite habitat? And so um, this is the end of class. So I hope everybody has a good week. And I guess, bye, everybody. Bye. Thank you for coming today. Bye. Yeah. Bye. Bye, everybody. Bye. 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 Have a good time. You too. Bye bye. Bye. Bye, Theodore. Okay. Um, I have to join another meeting real quick. I need to go on my mom's computer for this. So I'm going to probably um yeah i'm going Don't to, to stop the yeah yeah can you do um the class reflections and i'll do the attendance in a second i just need to go yeah. real quick okay oh um bye have a good week bye yeah bye